Hello darlings, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is probably the seventh video where I look the exact same because apparently we're just doing vlogs right now. <laughs> I have given me the challenge of making a top in less than three hours because like every time I make clothes it's just it takes me like weeks and weeks and weeks and I'm like absolutely not you are a grown woman this should not take you weeks okay and so I'm going to do my very best because there's a lot going on there's absolutely a whole lot going on when it comes to this fabric and what i'm going to do with it i have a pretty concrete idea of what's going on but at the same time i don't know you know what i mean and so we're gonna make this stuff together i have a sewing machine i have the fabric i have everything i need it's just I hope it works. It's basically like a cowl neck satin top that is backless, but that like straps in a crisscross motion around the back. Was that clear? I don't think it was. I'm trying to fix an issue here. A lot of cowl neck tops I have ordered or like purchased, but I don't have any titties, you guys. And maybe this is TMI. It's not TMI. I have like basically no titties and that's fine. I live my truth. It's fine to not have titties. I've like, I've grown from it. It used to bother me. It doesn't bother me much anymore because I'm like, girl it's a titty you know yeah i wanted to have a cow neck shirt and i have extra satin fabric and i was like i really want to have a cute little cow neck shirt that i can basically use and just like eat up you know and look good and it's like a classy top but it's a little sexy it's fun it's a very chill video i hope this is not going to be too long i hope it's going to be just enjoyable you can see me by the way i just want to disclaim i am not a seamstress i i'm not a fashion student i'm very much I have never studied anything that had to do with like clothes making. I'm simply an amateur who has a sewing machine and that makes me very dangerous, very dangerous. Because this is more of like a cow neck, there's gonna be a lot of draping involved. I'm like very nervous about this, I'm not even gonna lie. There's Listen, I definitely have enough fabric to make it, that's not what I'm nervous about. The fabric grain goes like this and like this right and when you want to create a natural like cowl neck effect like a floppy draped effect this is the fabric i'm gonna take it diagonally and i am going to as you can see just like i need to create a trapeze shape and okay this is diaries of a very nervous fake seamstress let's do this i'm probably gonna time lapse this and watch hawkeye thank you So I basically created like a trapeze shape as you can see and I'm taking the smallest part and just kind of like slightly draping it over and it's giving me what I want. So what I'm going to do, because um, satin slash silk are fabrics that fray pretty easy, I'm going to take the fray check on the edges. I don't have a serger. If you have a serger, I guess you could probably do. Why am I trying to make this educational? Anyways, so I'm just going to put this all over. And then what I'm going to do is cut out another flap of fabric that is the length of the smallest side of the trapeze. And I'm going to create it, I don't know, like about three inches just so that it covers the nipples because this fabric is a little bit sheer. So I just want to have a little bit of nipple coverage and I'm also going to hide the seam of a loop in it. So my brain might explode. I don't know. Every time I sew, this is how I feel. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the scraps from that big rectangle I cut out and we're going to create loops. So basically on the top there's going to be one loop here, one loop here and one loop lower so we can actually tie the top so it does stay like tied to the... I maybe should have made a pattern but it would have taken me more than three hours and I'm going to be honest the reason for the time limit is because your girl... <laughs> your girl your girl needs to get herself together i have my little pieces i have four of those for the four loops we're not sewing anything right now because i'm just making sure i'm cutting everything and so the straps are gonna have to be pretty long and so i just want to show you this is kind of my thing uh this is the uh main part <laughs> this is my little flap flap that is going to go like right underneath i'm sure everyone's watching this video like what 
is Corley doing? I too am wondering. Let me cut up uh, my things and I'll be back to start the actual sewing process. What time is it? Oh my God, we have 30 minutes left for right now. So I am going to eat lunch and make dessert with my mother. Everything that's left to do right now is the assembling. So we're gonna sew everything, we're gonna make everything. And so I do think, I'm pretty confident, like we've already done an hour and a half of work. I'm pretty confident that we're gonna be able to like sew everything up in an hour and a half. And um, you know, I think in an hour we should be able to do it. But at the same time, I need to also um, think about the mistakes that I'm gonna make and how much time they're gonna get. So right now I'm kind of gonna go eat. I have other things to do. And I'm also gonna think about how I'm gonna assemble this. I already have a few ideas. I guess we'll see. <laughs> ah, my God, that was heavy. My bobbin already has some thread in it. I'm just gonna like go, <laughs> go with the flow. After last night. After last night, I think I'm in love with you. My thread is Guterman 548. I will also link the fabric that I'm using in the description box down below. So if you guys wanna know anything about that, you can know. But yeah, I'm basically just setting up my sewing machine. My sewing machine is very nice to like thread. So it's, you know, it's nice. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the wrong side. The shiny satin side is the right side. This is what they call the wrong side. I am going to pin it like this. I'm gonna straight stitch it. Then I'm gonna turn it upside down, inside out, pardon me. And then I'm gonna, because it's gonna kind of be like that, then I'm gonna restitch it so it creates like a tinier. <sighs> I don't know how to explain it, just watch. Okay, I might have spoken too soon. What I'm doing is that instead of doing the tubes, because those are taking me forever because I don't have like a tube turner, what I'm doing is taking the main piece, taking the widest part of the trapeze, so like this is the like shortest part beneath, I just pinned it all and I'm gonna start like hemming this because it's gonna make me feel better. So I'm gonna hem everything in this except for this Part. I'm gonna hem the bottom and the sides and so we're gonna do this watch <laughs> What I did is I hemmed up one part, one of the long sides of my flap. And now we're gonna take this all hem piece, we're gonna take the right sides of both fabrics, we're gonna take the unhemmed side, we're gonna put right sides up and we're gonna do a straight stitch across, then we're gonna flip it back and then we're gonna restitch it. I don't know how to explain this. We're running out of time, I'm stressed. This is what we have now, as you can see. The goal is to fold this up like this so the flap is on the inside as like planned and then we're gonna top stitch it right here. But before we top stitch it, I am going to attach these straps, but we don't have straps at the moment. We don't have straps at the moment. We do not have the facilities for that big man, like babes. Oh my god. But oh my god, I'm so excited. It's so pretty. It's very like, it doesn't look like much right now, but I promise it's going to be much. Basically, there's a lot going on right now. There's a lot going on. Like even my loops, like I don't really know what's going on. Oh, what are you doing, Corley? I'm watching a 50 minute video commentary on Hell's Kitchen. Ah, uh, these are my straps. Yeah. See, do, do, oh my god um okay this is it looks like a bib wait this is too hot things are coming together things are gonna ah, it's gonna be great is it though okay i'm really gonna need y'all to be nice this is what the back looks like it looks a little stiff i'm not gonna lie it fits a little bit weird i mean maybe it's just like the fact that i don't have any titties should i remove i don't know should i pinch maybe i should just like pinch everything I don't know. Anyways, this is it. This is my final top. I feel like it looked better when I had nothing on. 
I could like breastfeed right now. This is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you don't, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I'm pretty proud of myself, okay? For like a four hour project, it's actually, it kind of looks like something like, I, the draping is not bad. I was really worried about how it was going to look like draped. It's really not bad. I did pretty good. But yeah, this is it, you guys. If you guys ever want more sewing videos of me just trying to make things, listen, I have a sewing machine and I have a lot of will. Am I good? Not necessarily. Am I motivated? Kind of. So like, if you guys ever want to see more sewing videos, please feel free to ask in the comment section down below. Um, Thank you so, so much for watching. If you ever attempt a project like this, please tag me. I would die to actually see it because I'm noisy. If you guys like me and my personality or the content I put right up on YouTube, then feel free to subscribe to this channel, baby. I do beauty and student lifestyle related content with sometimes just fun things that I like doing, like literally making a garment in four hours or simply commenting on Hallmark Christmas movies. You know, it, it goes from like one end to the other. It's really, there's a lot. I suggest you take a stroll through my videos. If you see things you like, make sure you click that subscribe button. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. <laughs>